Cristiano Ronaldo life story broke to the richest footballer. Everyone loves a good story, especially when the very poor beggar becomes a rich prince at the end of the day. Hey guys, welcome back to Total Luxury. Before we get started with this video, please don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell button to get all the wonderful videos we make in this entertaining channel. Let's get it on! Ronaldo's story is one of the most inspiring stories that assures us that the grass to grace story is no hoax. I mean, Cristiano was broke, but now he's one of the richest athletes in the world. One would wonder how Cristiano Ronaldo was able to go from sweeping the streets to being one of the richest football players in the world and driving Bugattis. In this video, we reveal the story behind Cristiano Ronaldo's life and how he shot from grass to grace. Many of you may not know, but Cristiano Ronaldo grew up in an impoverished family in Medina. When we talk about the poor, we actually mean they lacked in their financial state. They are so poor that a medium washing machine couldn't fit into their small house. The washing machine ended up on the roof of the house. Now that is certainly something. Cristiano even revealed in one of his interviews that they were so poor that Christmas Day was like every other day. There were no Christmas presents, nor the tinkling sound of bells on the Christmas tree. What are we even saying here? There were no trees. Children's toys were another luxury Ronaldo's family couldn't afford and never bothered getting one for any of their kids. Before we go any further, there is undoubtedly something else you should know about Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo was conceived on the fifth day of February 1985 in Funchal Madeira, Portugal, a tiny island off the country's western coast. Ronaldo is the last of the four children born to José Denis Aveiro and Maria Dolores dos Santos. His early life was molded by hardship, as his father often drank too much. It appears it wasn't only poverty they had to deal with, but the trauma of a drunk as well. I'm sure that if there was ever an option to choose between living in poverty or with a drunk person, so many people would prefer to remain poor. That's how terrible staying with drunk people can be. Now imagine a life where a child not only has to deal with the poor finances of his parents, he also had to put up with a drunk father. It sure must have been hardship personified. Oh, but in Ronaldo's case, something was really different. Even in his drinking problem, Jose never failed to stay close to his kids. He was mostly very close to Cristiano. Nonetheless, in order to help keep the children fed and also preserve some financial firmness, Cristiano's mother worked non-stop as a cleaning person and a cook. She swept the streets, and she was blessed to have hard-working kids too since Cristiano helped her sometimes. Even with the broom in hand, it didn't stop the young boy from dreaming. Ronaldo had just one dream, and that was to become a professional footballer. Even the lack of boots did not deter this young dreamer, as he would use whatever boot that comes his way to play his favorite game. In another interview, Cristiano opened up to the fact that he used boots from his brother or cousins just to make himself great in the sport. Well, it was a bit understandable, since kids back then didn't care about money. Yep, back then. Certainly not the kids of today, but that's a story for another day. By the time Ronaldo was 10 years old, he was already known as a sensation. He was the kid who slept, ate, and drank soccer. His godfather, for now Sousa, even told the British reporters that all Cristiano wanted to do as a little boy was play football. For now admitted openly that Ronaldo loved the game so much that he could miss his meals or sometimes escape out of his bedroom window with a ball when he was expected to be doing his school assignments. Unfortunately for Ronaldo, in 2005 when he was playing for Manchester United, his father died. From reports, Jose had died from alcohol-related kidney problems. And that was just the beginning of Cristiano's sorrow since in 2007, his mother fought with breast cancer. Before his father's death, the young athlete would often push for his father to go to rehab and work on his drinking. However, his father never accepted the notion. Maybe it was due to the hardship and problems he faced while growing up that gave him a rather bad attitude. At some point, his teammates even nicknamed him a crybaby because he would cry every time he lost or even when his teammates didn't pass the ball to him on time. His teammates most of the time get annoyed about the character he exhibits. But make no mistakes, even with his bad temper, Ronaldo was incredibly talented. By his early teens, Cristiano's talent and fable had grown so much that after a period with Nacional Dalia da Madeira, 
When he left Madeira in 2001, he signed with Sporting Portugal. Unfortunately, what was expected to be a turning point of a very good thing came out very bad for Ronaldo. Things went really terrible. Outside the football pitch, everyone made fun of Cristiano's strong Madeira accent. I guess the happiness of getting signed on was indeed in full swing, since he didn't react at the very beginning of the entire jest. Nevertheless, one day Cristiano snapped and threw a chair at one of his teachers. Oh, okay, that was going really extreme. But why would Ronaldo just pick on one of his teachers for no just cause? Well, after that incident, everyone got to know the reason for that action. Ronaldo Ronaldo had told his teacher he wanted to become a professional footballer. That was recommendable, was it not? Nonetheless, instead of the teacher recognizing his dreams and encouraging him, she opted for mockery. She said Ronaldo's dream would never happen and then went on to imitate him, making fun of his accent. Wait a minute. Agreed, Cristiano may have been wrong with his actions, but what teacher goes on to taunt her student? Ronaldo anticipated to be kicked out of the training center for his conduct. However, he got another chance and ended up staying. He eventually turned professional at football sport, then quickly signed for Manchester United. In 2001, when Ronaldo was only 16 years old, Manchester United paid over 12 million pounds to sign him. That amount, guys, was definitely a record fee for a player of his age. Cristiano turned heads with an enthralling performance with Portugal against Manchester, wowing even his rival with his footwork and deft cleverness. He made such an imprint that a good number of United players asked their manager to make an effort and sign the young player, which the team immediately did. Ronaldo did not upset the soccer world. He displayed his promise early on in the 2004 FA Cup Final, slashing the team's first three goals and helping them capture the championship. Now rich, Cristiano Ronaldo immediately got a brand new house worth a couple of millions for his parent, bought. Presently, Ronaldo earns about $106 million a year and is undoubtedly one of the richest athletes in the world. And instead of the broom he was formerly known for, Cristiano drives the finest luxury cars. Talking about cars, Ronaldo's most expensive car is a Bugatti Veyron that cost about $1.7 million. And that's not all. He also owns a private jet worth $36 million. That private jet can seat up to 18 people. Kudos to you, Ronaldo. And we sure believe you worked very hard when you say you worked so hard and made a whole lot of sacrifices to get to where you are currently. And it's impressive to know that Cristiano appreciates all those people on the other side of life where he came out. According to him, he respects more those who, not minding their poor, work so hard to have a better life for themselves. And so, folks, if you have a dream, don't give up on it, no matter what other people say. Don't abandon your dreams, no matter the obstacle you face. And in Ronaldo's words, work very hard, even if people think you're crazy. Trust me, you would be crazy to give up, but like Cristiano, never stop believing in your dreams. So there you have it, folks. Cristiano Ronaldo's life story broke to the richest footballer. If there are other achievements and milestones made by Ronaldo that are worth mentioning but weren't on today's list, share your thoughts in the comment section below. If this video was insightful, don't forget to like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to be notified whenever we upload videos like this one. That's it for me, guys. Don't forget to stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.